That's why we stand here so proud It's not for sale, it was built to last That's why we need to say it loud Where would we be without our ABC And everything that it means It's brought us drama, docos and comedy And great investigative teams But there are some who'd like to see it gone To suit their commercial end But it still stands for truth and reason And that's why we'll defend Where would we be without our ABC? We'd make it stronger if we could So just keep your grubby mitts off Cause if it goes it's gone for good So just keep your bloody grubby mitts off Cause if it goes it's gone for good Time for one last question. It's actually a very different subject. It's from Marcus May in Notting Hill, Victoria. Hi, I've got two questions for John Roscombe of the IPA. Question number one, can you public con- confirm right now on, on the ABC that your policy is to get rid of the ABC and sell it off? <laughs> two, given that you're appearing on the ABC right now, how do you think your credibility stands? Right now. <laughs> Over to you, John. As long as I'm... Tony, as long as I'm invited to be on the ABC, I love coming on the ABC. But seriously, to Marcus's question, I don't believe the government should own a media outlet. I believe in a free press, and I love the ABC. My family have grown up on the ABC. The ABC... It's a corporation. The government doesn't own it in the sense that you're talking about. It's not a government-owned entity in that regard. We, we can split straws, Tony, on what the, government, what the government's role is on the ABC. Um, but at a serious point, I think uh, that the billion dollars that the ABC gets, which by and large is often well spent, sometimes I would argue it isn't well spent, uh, can be given back to the people for them to decide whether the ABC should be supported or not. Let's see if Andrew would agree with that, because here's your chance, you can take a billion dollars and give it to uh, education. (laughs) (laughs) But this is education, right? Uh, immorality of markets that are not free. What's our aim? Total domination of the known world. Might be an idea to specify a date here. 
No, I agree. June 30? Could be a bit early. How about Christmas? I'll be in Thailand. Domination of Thailand, then. I believe this has been attempted before. Not easy. Oh, and don't forget to call Dave about Friday. Maybe partial domination of sections of Asia? Yeah, a bit woolly. Disproportionate influence in Oceania. Hmm, no. Let's start with something simple. Achievable. Pick something we already own and where we know what we're doing. Like what, Barry? Like the MCG or Sydney Harbour. Something people love and use all the time. Save the harbour. The harbour doesn't need saving. It's not under threat. How about Malcolm Turnbull? Too unpredictable. And what do we do when we save him? Save Lucy Turnbull. Nah. Save Albury Wodonga. Nah. Sorry, just a thought. Why not save the ABC? It's publicly owned and government funded. Most important institution in the country. It's going well, but under constant threat. Save it. You own it and use it. You need it. You can do it. What's going on with the ABC? I don't know. Well, apart from all the funding cuts, that is. Or... Yeah. Ah, oh, you got no sound. What? No. Okay, now you've oh. lost the picture. Can I just. Yep. Yeah. Coming up later, back to back reruns of Spicks and Specs. And at 12, repeat of Louis Theroux behind bars. Oh, God. I've seen those. Yeah. That's it. Are back? Welcome to the ABC News. This afternoon, an Really? I, I, I didn't even touch at that time. It could be Malcolm. Well, well yeah, of course. Neighbour Malcolm. I mean, he's always coming over, you know, trying to fix things. Hmm? Well, he stole our antenna once. No, uh, look, we just probably need some batteries for this. Babe, but it's not the remote, OK? <laughs> well, it's not the antenna, so... I think the thing that really needs fixing is the ABC. Oh, we're back on. Oh, Q&A with Tony Jones. Oh. Brilliant. He asks all the hard questions. Yeah, and he answers them now, too. Why do the bananas in pyjamas have Nike logos on their pyjamas? That's weird. Hang on. They're not even pyjamas. They're tracksuits. They're bananas in tracksuits. That doesn't even rhyme. Look at them. What are they doing? Is that a Happy Meal? They're eating Happy Meal. B1 is eating chips. We're watching bananas eat potato. That's vegetarian cannibalism. Well, you're not saying much. Humphrey, come on. Speak up. Are we in your honey pot? I've married Jerry Hall, Dad. I'm betting Jerry Hall. Thank God for Viagra. And I'm worth 12 and a half billion. I'm more of a man than you now, you old bastard. Where is Jerry tonight? Anyway, Dad, I've done so much since you died. I've built so much, controlled so much. I have presidents and prime ministers in my palm. And if they disobey me, if they oppose our business, I'll use my Pox News Network to crush them all like ants. <laughs> From that little Adelaide rag you left me, I've almost got the entire continent tied up. Fairfax is down the tubes, the idiots. 
We finally have the monopoly we've been dreaming of. The silly Australians have got these foreign ownership laws, and yet they let an American own everything. But I can't die yet, Dad. Not yet. There's one more thing to be done. I will not die until I've crushed public broadcasting everywhere. Bloody ABC. They cost me money, the bastards. No, Dad. We'll have it commercialised and then I'll buy it. Turnbull will come around. They always do. All of them. I've already got the logo worked out. A pox on the ABC. <laughs> A pox on the ABC. That's why we stand here so proud It's not for sale, it was built to last That's why we need to say it loud Where would we be without our ABC And everything that it means It's brought us drama, docos and comedy And great investigative teams but there are some who'd like to see it gone To suit their commercial end But it still stands for truth and reason And that's why we'll defend Where would we be without our ABC? We'd make it stronger if we could so just keep your grubby mitts off Cause if it goes it's gone for good So just keep your bloody grubby mitts off Cause if it goes it's gone for good